So believe it or not, if you are single and you want to be in a relationship, the worst thing you could do is have any sort of negative feelings about Valentine's Day. Hello my babies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Leora Alexandra. Welcome to the Baby Elephant community. On this channel we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development and so much more. Today I want to talk about Valentine's Day and about love in general. This information however is going to be relevant to you if you are single, if you are taken, if you're trying to manifest love or if you're not even interested in romantic love at all, you're trying to manifest anything else, a group of new friends, a new career, a new place to live, new opportunities, whatever it is that you want can be manifested through this method. Before we get started, I do want to let you know about something super new and exciting and fun. Erin Dowdy and I have created a free workshop for you on how to manifest your soulmate. This is all inspired by the month of love, so if you're interested in participating in the free workshop, the link will be in the description below. Other than that, let's get into today's video. So most of us obviously know what Valentine's Day, it's a very significant western cultural day that celebrates romantic love. It's far from the only cultural celebration of love as I'll get into later in this video, but the significance of this day is apparent. But for today's video, what we have to do is get out of our minds the way that we initially look at Valentine's Day. I usually had like kind of a disinterest when it comes to February 14th, but what we really have to focus on today is what Valentine's Day means energetically. Because so much of the world considers this a day of love, we've been giving February, February 14th so much energy year after year, giving it so much meaning, making this day energetically more abundant with love. There are couples around the world celebrating this day, celebrating their love, showing their love and affection and appreciation of one another. And we can tap into this energy. So believe it or not, if you are single and you want to be in a relationship, the worst thing you could do is have any sort of negative feelings about Valentine's Day. What you want to do is to align to the love frequency on this day to align to the vibration of love. When we feel negatively or hate something that we desire, we are not matching, we're, we're in dissonance with that desire. I tweeted about this the other day and though it was a bit contentious, I think it was pretty spot on. So many people desire to be rich but hate rich people. How can we manifest what we hate? So there's a way to actually hack Valentine's Day energy and tap into all the love that is being shared all around the world. And of course, this doesn't only have to happen on Valentine's Day. The thing is major holidays around the world, in the West and in the East, all have energy that we can tap into. For example, Thanksgiving is a day of gratitude. So you can really utilize a grateful vibration on that day in order to manifest. So how how do we do this? How do we use Valentine's Day energy? Well, simply by participating, experiencing love on that day, giving love to ourselves and to the people in our life that deserve love from us. Shower yourself and your loved ones with affection on this day. Truly enjoy the holiday, even if you're single, even if you're alone. Get out of that out of that uh, label of being single, being not in a relationship, and instead practice self-love and self-care. Draw on that energy that's buzzing from romantic love all around the globe. If you spend your day on Valentine's Day, February 14th, being truly happy, being grateful for everything that you already have, you're going to align and tap into that frequency, the love vibration. You're going to align to the reality in which you receive everything. You receive things, more things that make you feel grateful and make you feel love. So do this by waking up on that day and texting everybody happy Valentine's Day and that you love them, telling people that you appreciate them, that you care about them. Do something nice for yourself. Practice self-care. Whatever way in which you practice self-care, whether it be just feeding yourself right or working out, taking a nice bath, getting your nails done, getting your hair done, hang, hang out with people that make you happy, that make you feel loved and cherished and appreciated. Cultivate this love energy. It's such a powerful, meaningful day. The thing is all these holidays that we have all around the world, we create so much meaning and we put so much energy and it creates 
momentum that actually physically changes changes the frequency around these days. That's why holidays are important to tap into. That's why the new moon, the full moon, that's why all these things that we give so much meaning to actually become tools of manifesting more of that. They influence the collective consciousness. Now, if you are in a relationship and you don't care about this day, which I totally understand, until I started understanding a little bit more about energy and momentum, I really did not care for this business holiday, this Hallmark holiday but if you're in a relationship you should be using this day to your advantage as well yes every day should be Valentine's Day between in a relation in a romantic relationship but this day has so much meaning and so much energy to it that all your intentions and all your feelings are amplified and when you show your appreciation and your love for your partner on this day that's all enhanced by every other couple doing the same thing around the world and every other couple that did the same thing years every every single year every February 14th. The words I love you are even more powerful on this day. So say them loudly and often to everybody that you love. Now this will help you if you're single and trying to manifest a relationship. Just let go of the label of being single and just focus on the love. When we focus on the being single part, singles awareness day, we bring more of that to us. But when we focus on the love part, on appreciating it, enjoying it, we pull that to us. If you're in a relationship, you can improve your relationship, you can enhance it, you can create intentions with your partner for the future and manifest your future together. And if you're not interested in romantic love, just tap into that love vibration to bring to you more events and situations and opportunities, even material objects that you love. More things that make you feel like appreciative and loving. So I want you to tap into the Valentine's Day energy and add more love to this world. We're lifting the collective consciousness. We're lifting the vibration of the world together and we're creating so much more love. And it's very important that each of us does this individually because when we do it individually, it becomes stronger as a collective and we all feel happier. We all feel more love. And remember, this doesn't only have to be done on February 14th on Valentine's Day. That's just the most well-known day. For example, I'm Jewish and we have the holiday Tubav, which which is very similar to Valentine's Day. It celebrates romantic love. So I could do this, I think it's in August or something like that. There are Eastern holidays that celebrate love. There are other days that celebrate different types of love. You can tap into those days because they have meaning and they have this potent energy that we can use and amplify and enhance. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I love you so, so much. Happy Valentine's Day. And thank you for spending some time with me today. Until my next video, as always, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye. <laughs>